Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sends me a file and they want to contour some lines and then have some uh, lines around it with our little circles around it on those lines. And so the first thing I always do is grab it and hit P and put it in the center of the page. And you can see the problem right there. And that might be his problem. There's actually a leak right there. We can fix that. A couple other problems with your page. I don't know why anybody would have this so you need to set this on zero zero and and pretty much keep it there i have your laser engraver i'd keep it on point zero zero one that's a minute little movement and we can tell that this doesn't work and it will not contour correctly because it you also got your smart field uh anyway uh it leaks into the rectangle that's why i put the rectangle there because i knew it was going to leak so we're going to take this shape with the shape tool and shift select all of it and then select it all. And we're gonna open up the window, dockers, join curves. Mine's set on real low. I'm gonna set it on a quarter because we have that gap. That's pretty much showing me it's closed now. We'll just take a closer look and you can see it did its job. So we can test it with the smart fill tool and sure enough it worked. Now I'm gonna use the new one and get rid of the old one. We don't need the rectangle anymore. I'm gonna hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm gonna left click, right click. And now I have this pumpkin. So he said contour. <clears throat> so let's go to effects and contour or you know, contour inside, let's say a half an inch, 0.5 twice. And we get that shape. Now, if we're gonna put circles, they're gonna have a little bit of trouble in there, but with the stem, but that could be eliminated or changed or whatever. But then we need to grab it all to make this work and go up to object and break contour apart. And I'm gonna nudge, I'm gonna set my nudge factor on 12 inches because I know the pumpkin's 11. I need to go to object and break these two, or ungroup these two, and then I can take this. So really we need to know, he said something about a quarter inch circle, so we're gonna draw a circle. With my ratio locked, I'm gonna go 0.25. And so I've got a quarter inch circle. I need to know how many to put around this shape. So I'm gonna close the contour docker, go up to windows, dockers, properties, <clears throat> and go right here to the curve bar. And it tells me that this is 27. We're not gonna worry about the parts. So let's take a text and write 27, just so we can remember it. Now let's take this pumpkin, go up here, and it's 34. And they're both equally kind of the same, so we'll we'll write. And what you can do once you've already expanded this, control D and make a duplicate, move this down, and then go right here to your text editor and write 34. You don't have to do that. You can write them on a scratch piece of paper, but I sometimes forget what I'm talking about. So we're gonna need to control D this little circle. And then I'm gonna control D again because we need to do it twice. We want the same size circle. So I'm gonna take those two circles, go up to effects, blend. And if you remember, it was 27. And let's say a quarter inch, so we need them a uh, half inch apart or a quarter inch apart making a total of one inch. So 27 is 54. We already have two, so we're gonna go uh, 52, because we already have two and we need 54. I'm gonna hit apply. I'm gonna go to uh, new path, put them on that path, and then go to blend along full path and hit apply. There's our circles on that edge. Now that um, this one's the same thing, we're gonna get our two dots again and blend them, but this time we got 34, so that's 68. We've already got two, so it's 66. Take our new path and put it on this path. Blend along full path and hit apply. This is what I was saying, the stem is gonna give you a little bit of trouble. Uh, you could either eliminate the stem or, or do anything like that. Let's see what it looks like all together. I'm gonna nudge this over exactly what I had. And now you have 
circles. I don't really know what he's using this for, but to get rid of that line now, you need to select it all, go to object and break the nine objects apart. Let's zoom in a little bit, see if we just get that line. And it tells us right there, it's just one curve, so we can hit delete. It tells us right there, one curve, and we can hit delete. So now you have holes, quarter inch holes around the shape of your pumpkin. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.